Well, this scandal happened, was it this week? From last week. And the woman's name is Pasty Things. Wait a minute. It's called, she's called All White Things. That's what her name is, All White Things. So, um, she made these crazy comments about sl slavery, like not being as bad as they're trying to make it out to be, essentially. And she was admitting that she has workers that are black and she likes them because they work really hard. <laughs> and she said that. And I think the reason why um, she really was comfortable is because she's been saying those things, crazy things all this time and getting away with it. And she was like, she thought she was Sheree Whitfield from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was like, who going to check me, boo? And they checked her all over. I'm calling it Black YouTube. Black YouTube checked her left and right. I'm telling you, it was a party. And then they went into her archive, so to speak, and pulled out all these videos. And she's a one giant scandal. And she's dishonest. I mean, the things I saw were scandalous. And she now said, She's going after people that commented about her to see if she can dig up dirt on them, basically, is what she said. I'm telling you, it was a wonderful day listening to the Black YouTube dismantle this woman. I saw a video. It was delicious. It was good. Because she irks me from, from a while, but I don't see very many of her videos. So I don't really know all the ins and outs. But the one thing that got to me is when she told Dr. Umar to mind his business. That's what she said. She said, don't tell people what to do. And I want to say to her, that's what you should be telling yourself in the mirror to mind your business. Because he is concerned with the entire Black population is called a diaspora, okay? So that's why he talks to everyone. You, on the other hand, have, according to what I heard, she has a man of color boyfriend, a brown boyfriend, which of course I predicted because she's d determined to be a martyr. She's acting as if she wants to be a martyr within her relationships, which I doubt because she looks like she cries on cue. That's how she looks to me, like she's an on cue crier. This took me so long to make because I kept laughing. I thought it was, I loved every moment of it. They took her, they, they took her for a long walk. They brought her back home. Then they took her for another long walk on a, on a, on a dark street and left her there. I'm telling you right now, she is so upset. And then she apologized and had the nerve to admit that it was just strategic. She really didn't mean it. Can you imagine? She says slavery was not a, as big deal as I'm making it because some of the slave owners were nice to their slaves, basically. <laughs> Imagine having absolutely no free will, but yet someone's nice to you sometimes. I mean, she thinks it's, you know, not a bad thing. Maybe she should join that, you know, that kind of profession and maybe she'll like it. Maybe she should be in that profession because she thinks it's great to have no free will and no determination of your own life where somebody makes decisions for you, excuse me, and all of your decisions are already predetermined. Sounds like fun. Why doesn't she just give up her free will and have, you know, appoint someone responsible for her and give up her entire free will to another person and be their servant for the rest of her life? Since she thinks slavery is so phenomenal and fair and honest and like basically slavery was underrated as far as what she said. She was like, she didn't say those words, but basically she's like slavery is underrated because the owners were sometimes really, really nice to their slaves. So I don't understand why people are really upset about it. That's her attitude. That's her. It was that I'm not exaggerating about. She really was like, they're kind of. They're leaving out the nuances. I will, you know what? She can become a slave. Like, she can do it. She can do it. And then see if she likes the nuances. 